I want to share with you the book title, of course, already you know that, Jewish Pirates of the Caribbean, and listen to this subtitle, How a Generation of Swashbuckling Jews Carved Out an Empire in the New World in Their Quest for Treasure, Religious Freedom, and Revenge. So, how did you come to write this? When I went to Jamaica as a job, I was reading a book, a pirate's journal, of his first invasion of Jamaica in 1643, where he finds the capital deserted, except for some Hebrews of the Portuguese nation who came unto us seeking asylum and promising to show us where the Spaniards had hidden their gold. Okay. Portuguese Jews in a Spanish island seeking asylum from an English pirate? I didn't understand this. What was going on? That opened my idea or opened the door to the fact that there were so many secret Jews in the New World disguised as Portuguese Christians. And then I found out that Jamaica had belonged to the family of Columbus, who provided a homeland, a haven in the New World for Jews on the run from the Inquisition. This took me by such surprise. That Jews it, running from the Inquisition? Inquisition, yes. Remember, this was the 15th, 16th century when Jews had been kicked out of Spain under penalty of death if they remained, and the Inquisition was there to ensure or to protect the Catholic people. Of course, yes, sir. Spain controlled the New World. Yes. It was a Spanish lake, the Caribbean, for many centuries. And the colonies, so the ships, the Spanish ships were going back and forth, carrying the riches of the New World to Spain. So by intercepting the Spanish ships, mm -hmm. they cut this lifeline between the New World and, the and Spain, which was and brought down the empire, the Spanish Empire. Okay. Anyhow, one of their leaders is becomes a famous pirate of himself, and that's Moses Cohen Enriquez, who, according to the Inquisition documents, Moses is nothing but a spy to learn when the Spanish silver fleet sails, and accompanied Piet Heim, the admiral in the seizure of the Spanish Silver Fleet in 1628, which was the largest haul in piracy history, about a billion dollars in today's currency. This financed Holland's reinvasion of Recife, and uh, Moses, with his share of the booty or the plunder of his silver, set up his own pirate island off of Recife, named it Antonio Vaz, which was his Spanish name. So many of the original pioneers. Pioneer pirates. Well, not only pioneers, <laughs> conquistadors, explorers, okay. adventure merchants who set up a trade network that spanned the globe. They picked the title because of the commercial reason. Did it out of conviction, as the book says, revenge, to avenge themselves on those who would burn Jews and make themselves rich in the process. Okay. Most of these pioneers who, through guile and boldness and perseverance, established the rights that Jews in the West enjoy today, they, I have been able to identify those in Jamaica who then went to Barbados, who then went to the States, who were part of the 23 Jews who went up against Stuyvesant, they're the same people, they're the same family. This book goes into these personalities. Okay.